big quality little camera. Discover Mirrorless recommends the Lumix G5 hybrid camera. Lumix G5. Hey guys, Stephen Lynch out here in Los Angeles for discovermirrorless.com. I wanted to share some of my favorite software that I like to use on a daily basis, and that is the Adobe Creative Suite and Lightroom 4. I've been doing this video and photography stuff for quite a while, probably the last 11 or 12 years. And uh, back in the day, we used to use uh, Photoshop and Final Cut Pro 2, I think it was. Yeah, it was quite a while ago, so... Um, but for the most part, those worked really well until I started shooting more video work on the new Canon DSLRs. And uh, I was just really disappointed with Apple. They were not supporting the latest codecs and really felt like they didn't care about the new technology. So uh, things like um, having to render a hundred times in one timeline and dropping my clip in the, in the timeline and, and I couldn't even watch it until I was rendering it for over a minute. Uh, it just wasn't working for me. So I moved over and I started using Premiere Pro. I had used it before and I wasn't too thrilled about it, but this time with the latest version, I think it was CS4 or CS5, worked really great and I've pretty much been using that since. So I've been shooting these uh, Micro Four Third cameras this year and moving a little more into the hybrid photography. And again, Apple has really left me dumbfounded. They are not supporting the AVC HD codec, which uh, our Panasonic Lumix cameras shoot in. And uh, it's just, it's really annoying. Um, I, I really like using Lightroom, but I really love uh, Aperture 3. And uh, for a great example, I went over a month that I didn't realize that um, Aperture was not importing my movies that I was shooting on the GF3. I lost a lot of memories. It, it really sucked. Um, it didn't even give me a message saying they're not supported or anything like that. And so I've uh, I moved over to using Lightroom 4 and um, it's just been great and I, I really haven't looked back. So I'd like to share some of my hybrid workflow with you guys and you know a few of the things that I really like about the Adobe software. So let's take it over to the computer and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to my Lightroom and I've already set up a uh, collection of images that I shot around my yard, just, you know, a few flower shots, things like that in my garden. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to mix some video clips and still photography in the same production. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click anything above three stars. So I've already organized them. These are some of my favorite ones. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight them all by pushing uh, Command A. And then I'm gonna go over to Adobe Premiere Pro and get that open. Now I'm gonna click back over to my Lightroom. I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna drag it right over into my project window. Now they are here, all of the JPEGs and the video clips. That's one thing that doesn't work and that's if you're shooting in RAW, which a lot of us are, but if we're doing these hybrid products, we're probably also shooting in JPEG. And when you shoot in JPEG, of course, you get the matching colors with your video clips and that works the best. Now it's real easy. I can just take this and I can, I can drag this clip down here, throw it in the timeline, and we've got a, a video clip right there. Now I got, uh, you know, here's, here's another clip of a, a flower in my yard and I'll just drop that down in there. And as you can see, it's, it's right there. It's a little big because the JPEG's a lot bigger than those video clips by resolution. So I'm going to say scale to frame size, and uh, and there it is. There's my clip. So now i got video, and I've got audio. Now what's really cool is if you decide, you know, I, I really need to fix something in that picture. And uh, just something off, you know, there's a little bug I want to take out. Okay, that's fine, because all you got to do is right-click, and you go, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Bam, here it is, Adobe Photoshop, right here. And here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw something in the uh, in the image, just for an example. I'm gonna make that big, and I'm gonna go hi. You know, uh, it's kind of a funky brush I got on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that and put it like that. Um, now let's go back and check it out in Premiere Pro, and it should. There it is. Hi. There it is. Awesome. Right. Now, if you want to edit, say, the audio in your clips, you could right click and you could go to edit in Adobe Audition. That's a really cool program that they, uh, they have as part of the Creative Suite and it allows you to do some 
uh, you know, more fine tuning in your audio editing. Uh, I'm not going to open it right now because it's it takes a little bit of time and I haven't set it up yet. Actually, I just rebuilt my system. Um, <clears throat> another really cool thing is if you're really advanced in your um, editing, you know, you might want to take this whole thing and take it over to After Effects, which is their more advanced editor for doing more special effects work. And you can do that real easily. As soon as you're ready to do it, you've finished up your sequence here. You just click it on right over to After Effects. And that's really one of the reasons why I love using in the Adobe software so much. All right, so there it is, the Adobe software. As you can see, the integration between the different applications, the seamless transition, you can move one clip and you can work on something else in another of their applications. Uh, that just works great. That saves me time and in, in turn that makes me more money because I can spend more time shooting and I can get more work and uh, I can bring in more profits and that's what really matters to me. Now uh, I gotta get back to work so I'll see you all again soon. Until next time. Big quality little camera. Discover Mirrorless recommends the Lumix G5 hybrid camera. Lumix.